Antonia used to write notes in high school to her best friend, mostly about being boy crazy. And what's great about this is Antonia is going to be reading some of those notes that her friend saved and bound into a book. Please welcome Antonia to the Grown Ups Read Things They Wrote as Kids stage. So my friend's father's work paid for this. <laughs> um, but I typed them out because I can't read my own handwriting. Um, just for context, uh, as I'm telling the story, um, teenage hormones surging through my body made me immensely boy crazy, but I had barely kissed a boy, yet the things you would hear, you'd think a lot more. Um, <laughs> we developed code names for the boys we liked because if anyone found the notes, like, ugh. Um, but they were so top secret, I don't even know who they refer to today. <laughs> Um, and then you'll hear me mention the forum a lot. So I went to high school in Toronto, and it was a big high school, 2,500 students, and the forum was the area in the middle of the school indoors where everyone hung out between classes. Um, and there were designated areas for depending on which clique and who you ran with. So I'll just, um, I, I, I cut uh, sections from different notes, so like, Note one, and so on and so forth. So I'll start with note one, when like Marilyn and I, our friendship really, really started here. Well, as you know, I'm on social committee and so is he. I'm gonna to refer to him as he throughout the letter because if anyone else reads this and knows what I'm thinking, I'll feel really stupid. <laughs> After school, when we were setting up, we had finished our jobs and we were just sitting and talking. Then during the beginning of the dance, we had coat shift together and we were flirting the whole time. <laughs> throughout the night, we would flirt and when we danced, we were really close and it got really hot and while you were there. After <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards, it was kind of awkward and we didn't talk to each other. Then I came to school on Monday and the story ends. Do you know what? I'm finally over him. It only took pages and pages of writing, but I think I can finally forget about him now. Well, maybe not forget, but just get over. I still want him a lot, but I guess, I <laughs> I guess I'll have to realize that I can't always get what I want. Why are guys like that? Anyways, I'm in French class now, by the way. <laughs> Note two. Well, I'm getting more confused. Today, when we were leaving the forum and I saw him, he saw me by his peripheral vision and he could have just ignored me, but he turned and smiled and I said, hi. <laughs> Whoa, talk about heavy, huh? <laughs> Well, I know it's stupid to act like this, but I can't help it. Hopefully I'll get to talk to him sometime today. When do you see him at his locker the most? I have to learn those things so I can catch him more often. I don't know why he comes to school early. You said you see him? Since he has first period spare. Clearly no schedule. <laughs> Note three. Lately, S doesn't seem to be as enticing as he once seemed to be. I guess subconsciously, a part of me has been forcing myself to get over him. I saw him today and he looked like shit, so I guess that helped. <laughs> Guess what? I tried the cookies and cream Hershey chocolate today. By the way you described it, I was expecting some really wonderful chocolate and it wasn't as great as I was expecting. I'm actually looking forward to cutting up a pig today. I'm <laughs> Biology. I'm wearing my glasses now because I need them to see the blackboard even though I'm not really copying down from it. There's no point in me copying down all that stuff because I have better review notes than I use for exams and I don't need the crappy stuff she's writing on the board now. <laughs> If I don't see you during period change, then I'll have to give this to you after school, and you have to read this during your spirit committee meeting. But watch and make sure no one around you is reading this, although Don Juan will probably try to sit close to you and look over and see who your other secret, well, not that secret, lover is. <laughs> Note four. Well, you saw what went on in the forum, and what you thought is probably right. I have no idea how it happened. Okay, first, today, I asked him why he didn't have his costume, and then S walked by and used his cane and pulled me to him, and then he turned and told Pin, I love this cane, it works all the time. Then, later in the forum, he grabbed me kind of like the way S did, and I just, wait, one more thing. Uh, <laughs> Before, we were at my locker and I showed him the green thing and asked if it was too showy. He, of course, said no, no. He said, I, I don't remember exactly, but something like he wanted to see me in it later and I said something like, I'll give him a private show later. <laughs> God, am I a flirt or what? <laughs> when, 
when I went to the forum in the middle of class, that's when he did the pull thing like S did the first time, and we just flirted. Well, mostly me. And then I had to go. Then, when it came back around two, he just came up behind me and put his arm around me. I didn't mind, so I just stood there. Then he told me that he wasn't going to go to physics next period, and I said that I had to go to class, but he said, what do you have? And I said, I have bio, but that I could probably get out for a bit. And he said he's going to be in the forum. Now, this is really weird. I may talk about guys I like, but I don't really ever expect anything to happen. <laughs> this is beyond weird. I don't think I was that obvious. Well, I'm in bio now, and I think I might go, although I'll look like a total geek. I really don't have a superficial purpose for going to the forum now, so if I go, it'll look so obvious. <laughs> you should see my face now. You would probably laugh at me. It's all red now, or at least it feels red. Oh, yeah. When I left the forum, Heidi came up all smiley and giggly and asked me if me and him were going out. I said no. She said that she just thought so because I don't remember exactly what she said. <laughs> this has definitely been a pretty day for me because I dressed weird. I told them <laughs> I told them I might put on the green thing after school if they have the dancing, but I probably won't. Well, that's enough for now. The whole note is probably totally uncomprehensible, but that's okay. Hey, I'm not working tonight. Do you want to do something? <laughs> note five. Well, lucky for me, I haven't seen any hair, that's his code name, at all today. <laughs> I think he took the hint. Well, good. I don't have to act like a total bitch to him anymore. God, ever since I've become content with letting my hair out and being single, I was never not single. <laughs> I've been noticing that more guys have been noticing me. God, it's so much fun to tease and flirt. <laughs> Did I ever tell you what a flirt will is? He is always constantly flirting with me and sometimes I flirt back. He gave me one of his Hershey's kisses on Raptors Day last week and he said that I owe him a kiss. And he said it when Krista heard and she gave me the dirtiest look you can imagine. First of all, he is the one who said that to me. Second of all, there's no need for nasty looks. She doesn't own him. <laughs> don't say anything to anyone and don't lose this note. Well, my hand is hurting, so I'm ending this now. This is the last one. Note six. Well, I'm now sure more than ever before that the fish is totally uninterested in me. Every attempt I make towards any kind of small talk, he would always... I don't know, I can't really explain it. I wrote another big Spanish test without even studying. It was really rather funny. Did I tell you about the guy from my last semester drama class who I think likes me? Well, he is a major immature geek who I can't stand. I'll show him to you later. Speaking of, Dave is always saying hi to me now. This is weird. I have so many people to hi now in the hallways. <laughs> After the first person initiates the high, you have to always keep the highing up. <laughs> My hand is hurting me. I want to buy a coconut bun from the Chinese bakery. Do you know what? Every time I've worn this jacket to school, I've gotten a compliment on it. I don't see what's so nice or special about it either. I've only worn it two times because you can't wear a piece of clothing that you've gotten complimented on too often or else someone will notice that you've worn it a lot. It's kind of like an unwritten law. If you were to do... <laughs> If you were to just wear simple and plain clothes, you could wear them every day, like blue jeans and a black t-shirt, and no one would really notice. Okay, now that concludes the fashion section of this letter. Actually, this concludes the letter. Thanks. <laughs>